appreciate everyone coming and uh, you know soon soon we'll be eating so that I know I know Klein's definitely hungry and Caitlin because I think they haven't ate anything pretty much all day except maybe early this morning so I guess I better not wave my hand in front of that not sure if that was it or not but um, you know I was thinking earlier while I was shooting free throws of some of the best moments in my life and I thought of five or six and three of those had to do with Caitlin so um, being a father there's not really much that can be better than that so when Caitlin was born that was definitely definitely one of the best moments of my life if not the best moment of my life um, you know it's it's funny because what I'm going to say is the in my in my top five uh, may surprise you, but in my top five was when Klein asked me if it would be okay if he asked Caitlin to marry her. That was probably one, if not the second happiest day of my life. So, um, and of course I said yes. Um, Klein's a uh, I agree with his mom. I think he's an, an exceptional young man, and I couldn't be happier for anyone for Caitlin to end up with. Um, I know he'll take care of her. Um, you know, he's officially part of my family now, but for the last seven years, he's been part of the family. You know, we've went on many vacations and done many things and uh, always been a stand-up guy and you know, I look forward to seeing their future. Hopefully I'll be around long enough to see it. Um, but I look forward to seeing more grandkids. Uh, you know, one of them is sitting over here right now, which was unbelievable how he walked uh, in his part today because last night it didn't like there was any chance he was going to walk down there. So it was great to see that. But... Um, you know, these two, you know, have really impressed me over the last seven years. They both take their career seriously, and, you know, I respect that. I like to believe Caitlin got some of her worth ethic from me and probably her Mimi and Papa here. Um, and just seeing how Klein works and wants to continue. I've heard some of the dreams he has. It's great hearing that. It's great hearing young people that have dreams and set the bar high. You know, if we all could be like that, you know, you know, and, you know, I'm not going to sit up here and talk too much longer, but I will say this, times will get tough. It's just going to happen. And when they do, think of this day. Think of what got you here and that'll get you through it. I know you both love each other, I see it. And I'm gonna say one other thing. I don't always do this, but put God first. You do that, and life will be much easier for you. You just do that. So. I love you both, and once again, I look forward to seeing the life you two share together. But congratulations. Hello, hello, everyone. Good evening. I just want to give a big thank you to everyone who came out tonight. Woo! Awesome. And I want to give a huge thank you to the bride and groom for inviting us to the most beautiful evening I've ever seen. <laughs> So let's give it up for the newlyweds. Woo Come on, yeah. So earlier this evening out in the ceremony, it got me thinking. There comes a time in everyone's life when you meet your soulmate, your best friend, and your partner in crime. And I know that moment happened for Caitlin when she met me. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Zoe, and I will be Caitlin's maid of honor for the evening. I have known Caitlin for a little over 22 years, and we have been best friends. I've known her since I was two, so there's never really been a time in my life where I haven't had her by my side. 
And I don't think there will be time where she won't be. Caitlin is the most loving, loyal, kind, honest person I know. A true Hufflepuff at heart, you could say. <laughs> Growing up with Caitlin had its ups and downs, of course, like any 11 to 14 year old friendship could be. But, you know, we hung out, we played outside, we even had sleepovers. Although most of our sleepovers ended up with Caitlin walking me home crying at 2 a.m. because I was too scared to be away from home. <laughs> By the way, did I mention that we were next door neighbors? <laughs> and although it was 2 a.m. and only 30 feet away, she still walked me home and made, me, made sure that I felt safe. But growing up together means that I got to watch her grow in her grace and beauty. And with her own kindness, she taught me that being kind can change a person's life. Caitlin is someone I will always look up to and aspire to be like for the rest of my life. Caitlin is always and will always has been and always will be my big sister. And just like sisters, we fight and we bicker, but we always seem to find our way back to each other. So, Caitlin, I love you with all of my heart, and I will always cherish our friendship. And I promise to always walk you home when you're scared. So, Klein, if it's ever 2 a.m. and you're scared and you need to find your way home, whether it's 30 feet or 30 miles, I know Caitlin will always walk by your side and make sure that you are safe. And to Klein, I will forever be grateful for you to be taking care of my sister, my soulmate, my best friend, my partner in crime. And tonight, she becomes your best friend and your partner and your partner in crime. <laughs> I, and I have full faith that you will take good care of her. And finally, if Caitlin and Klein would please open this bag. In this bag is a clock. So, during your guys' ceremony, I looked at the time when you guys had your first kiss as a married couple. It was 4.36 p.m., so I stopped the time on your clock at that exact time of your kiss so that any time when life seems confusing or complicated or you're trying to remember the good times or anywhere in between, I want you to look, both look at this clock and remember that exact moment in time and feel that love that you felt because it is real. I wish you guys the very best marriage for all the years and the rest of the years to come. I love you both, so let's raise a toast to Mr. and Mrs. Kleinshaw. Just so everyone knows, I hate public speaking, so I'm gonna keep this short, sweet, and to the point. If I butcher this, blame Klein. So, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Chance, and for coming up quick on 30 years, I'm Klein's brother. We've been told throughout our lives that we look similar. I honestly don't see it. But since I know some people here still can't tell the difference, Mom, I'm Chance, and that's Klein. <laughs> Caitlin, please put your hand flat on the table towards Klein. Klein, put your hand on top of hers. Enjoy this moment, Klein, because it's the flat, or first and last time that in your marriage you'll have the upper hand. <laughs> All jokes aside, I really don't know what I would do without Klein. Not only has he directly taught me a lot, but I've been able to learn from, him as, from his mistakes. Today is not one of those mistakes. I got to be there for their proposal, and in that moment, I realized you guys would have a great life ahead of you. Klein is the first one to give me the shirt off his back, but that's probably because we just had an argument and he ripped it off of me. <laughs> Through all those arguments, we managed to maintain being good friends and great brothers. When we were in middle school, there was a misunderstanding and a lot of the football team wanted to jump me. Walking out of each class, somehow Klein was there waiting for me to make sure that I was safe if need be. This is how I know that Klein will be a great protector and a great man all of his life. 
I'm not sure which one of you guys is the lucky one because you're both great in your own ways. I feel like I'm in a courtroom because I get to be a part of assigning you a life sentence. You guys may have your ups and downs in the many years to come, but remember, this is a life sentence that is your choice. So always remember to respect, love, and cherish one another. And I mean that. Always. Caitlin, you've always seemed to fit in since day one with our family, and today you officially become family. It's gonna be weird saying sister-in-law, but I got a long time to be used to it. To Caitlin's parents, both of you. You're not losing a daughter, you're getting a son. A son that will make sure your daughter has what she needs and is safe and loved. A son that you can trust has Caitlin's best interest in mind. To Caitlin and her family, welcome to our family. Klein, do what you do best and be you. Be there when she needs you and even when she doesn't. Admit when you're wrong and take fault even when you're not. We all know the saying, happy wife, happy life. So make today the first day of practicing the words, yes, dear. <laughs> I'm honored that you've made me the best man today, but remember that starting today, you become Caitlin's best man for life. Today is a day of stress, but remember that not every single thing will be perfect today. Ignore the petty things and remember to live in the moment and appreciate what is perfect. You guys together, that too. You guys just forget about everybody, single, every person here. Just you guys enjoy this together. I mean that. I want to give a toast to Mr. and Mrs. Shaw. It's already going to be one of Klein and Caitlin's best nights, but let's make it the most memorable. Everybody raise your glass and let's cheers. <laughs> 